Have you missed Yahushua's language? Have you missed the true fluency with which he speaks to his bride? Have you missed it? Have you missed that door, the doorway of entrance? You know, it's secret, it's invisible, it's in another rain. It's a very narrow gate. The last four videos I did were very much a mixture, I've realized. I watched them again last night and Yahushua said very clearly to me, you're taking the truth of what I've given you and mixing it with yourself. There's too much of yourself in these videos, Mark. There's too much of your opinion. There's too much of your uh, humor or anger. You're still angry at the believers. You're still angry at the Messianic Sinatrum. Leave them alone, he says to me. Leave them alone. Stop going at them all the time. You've got to leave them alone. So I can see that Yahushua is very unhappy with taking his word, the things that he's revealed to us in the behavior revolution and having me mix them with myself. Because the self, there's a spirit in my flesh. And the spirit in my flesh hates Yahushua, hates his disciplines, hates his word, hates his brothers and hates everything about coming into this truth. Hates me being freed, hates me overcoming. I hope you can relate to this. Yahushua said to us, make declarations. Bring it into declarations. Stay in the vein, stay in the fluency of what I'm saying to you. Only speak as close to my word, as close to what I'm saying to you, in the vein of what I'm saying as physically possible. We don't always get it right. But keep yourself out of the equation. Stop telling stories about yourself. Stop centering everything on yourself, he said to me. And so I apologize for the way I've come across in the last four videos. Um, I'm still searching myself. Not searching. No, I know Yahushua. I, know, I found Yahushua, but I'm searching for the true experience because I know that I have to overcome in order to experience him like that he said to me i can't and that's why i've been realizing i'm so angry i've been so angry at yahushua and it's been stunting my growth and holding me back i've been so angry at yahushua because of his path because everybody else just seems to have it easy everybody else can just put their head down and you know fit into some little religious pattern whatever label whatever translation, whatever they want to call themselves. Why has he chosen me to put me on this hard, narrow path? It's in his word. He says it's a hard, narrow path. It's a narrow gate and very few will find it. But I want him in that way. And I've been angry at him because he won't give me what I want. I want to experience the snap. I want to experience his spirit and fire in full intensity. I want him in that capacity. I'm obsessed with him and I want him like that but he says to me well you say you're obsessed you say a lot of things you run your mouth about you can talk your way out of every situation Mark but you can't fool me you say you want me but what about when you do this what about when you look at this when you say this when you speak this when you behave this what about when you have one foot in the world and that's what he was saying to me it's a mixture my last four videos were a mixture and we know how Yahushua feels about mixtures. It was a mixture of the truth, the true way that Yahushua has given us at the behavior revolution. It was the truth mixed with myself, the self, my personality, how I think things should be expressed and done. And Yahushua is saying, I don't want that. Just stick to the declarations. Just stick to the truth. Declare what I've given you. And don't worry about who poo-poo's it. Don't worry about who receives it and who doesn't receive it. You just declare what I've given you. Because he has given us a lot of truths here at the Behaviour Revolution. All the truths that he's declared were in the last four videos. They're all in it. But it could have been condensed into one video. A more powerful, impactful video. If it didn't have so much of myself in there. And I apologise for that. I'm taking a good hard look at myself. The way I've treated my family, my wife, my dear friends, my clients, everybody in my life. I'm taking a good hard look at that spirit in my flesh that has controlled me for so long. That does not want me to be free. Does not want me to be released. 
into the spirit and fire of Yahusha's true experience. And you can only have that true experience, as I've said, you can only have that true experience if you found the true door, which is Yahusha Allahim. That is the key. You can't have this experience if you don't recognize that Yahusha is Allahim. I mean, you can know Yahusha's name, whoop de doo And compared to a lot of religious movements, that's a big feat. That's a great achievement to know Yahusha's name. But you've got to know who he is, know who Yahusha is, and to know that his, his word is merely a tool to guide you to the narrow gate because his dimension, his reign is invisible. It's hidden under the ink of the text. So if you're just too interested in quoting and making sure this is perfectly right and memorized and in order in your head, then you're missing the abstract because he says that it has to be abstractly discerned. Look up the scriptures. It says it must be abstractly discerned. You can't abstractly discern anything in his scripture and get the true wisdom and gems or pearls, as I say, unless you have his true spirit. And you don't have his true spirit unless you've gone in the right door and you can't even find the door because it's invisible. It's a narrow gate. It's a narrow gate. So I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to keep going through the cleansing process. What you're searching for will happen for you. That snap, the spirit and fire will come upon you. Now, obviously, I've got the spirit. Obviously, you've got the spirit if you've come this far. If you believe that Yahushua is Elohim, if you're in agreement with us, if you can see who he truly is beyond that veil, you've got his spirit. You've been baptized in his spirit. That's the true, that's the whole point of having this experience to be baptized in his spirit but that snap of fire empowerment boldness anointing cleansing fire that fire that speaks about all through the scripture that fire is what i want all the time i want to be a different person let me summarize it into very simple terms i don't like who i am i don't like the spirit that controls me in my flesh the spirit in my flesh Let's not let's stop blaming demons and principalities. They're there, whoop de doo. But let's look, it's the spirit in my flesh. I hate it. But I have to put it off. I'm having a test pit cauldron experience where the fire is being turned up and I have to Yahusha brings to my attention the things he hates in my behavior, in my life, in my habits, and I have to scrape it off. That is how gold is purified in the cauldron. And I'm going through that. So I'm sorry for the impression I've given that uh, I know what I'm talking about. And I mean, I know the theory. I know what Yahushua has given us. I know the points. I know the door. I know Yahushua is Alahim. I know that Yahuwah metamorphed into Yahushua. Yahuwah's gone. It's Yahushua who's Alahim, who's coming back for us. And I know that the baptism in water is ridiculous and gone because that's John's baptism of repentance, a customary pattern which is now fulfilled in Yahusha, who offers a baptism of spirit and fire as evident in the book of Acts. I know that is true. I know all the points are true, but I want to experience them in greater fullness. And if you've got that hunger in you, stay in there. Don't get down. Don't get discouraged. Because that is the plan of your flesh. That is the plan of the demons. They want to stop you from having that snap into Yahushua's fire, baptism of fire. That's the only way we can come into his transition into his wilderness, brothers and sisters, to be ready and perfected. Of course, we're never going to be 100% perfect while still living in our flesh, but we can get pretty damn close. That's what Yahushua is requiring of us to get close to become like-minded, to become like-behaviored, to become set apart, be set apart as I am set apart. He can't be unequally yoked with some whorish bride. That's why he divorced the last one. She was a shadow of what his true bride is to become. Perfect. We need to become that. And so I'm realizing that we need to make it simple. We need to stop focusing on the religious folks and all the religious groups that just want to argue. 
and focus on the people in our lives, our families, our clients, our community. Bloom where you're planted, Yahushua says. Bloom where you're planted. Stop looking at the global everything and look at where you're planted in your community, in the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the supermarket. The, everywhere you go, you can be a witness. You can be a shining light. Not always by the things you say, by your behavior. And that behavior is what this whole book speaks about. That behavior is a fulfillment. The loving kindness, the fruits of righteousness are a fulfillment of this book. Yahushua fulfilled this book and now he's fulfilling it in us through behavior. That's what I've wanted to say in the last four videos. And again, I apologize for coming across so arrogant and cocky and that's not how I feel inside. I'm still searching for the greater fullness. And so this is how you find him. He said to me, you can stop being angry at me, Mark. I can't give you what you want. I can't give you my fullness because you're unclean. You still choose to say this. You still choose to do that. You still choose to partake, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. I can't be in that. When you choose to give that up, and my give up is different to your give up. What I have to overcome is different to what you have to overcome. It's still the flesh though. We all still wrestle with the same flesh. The spirit in our flesh needs to be killed and put off and overcome in order to experience Yahushua in greater fulfillment. That's what I've want, wanted to say. And I want to make it clear and simple and only stick to the points, the bullet points of what Yahushua has given us. He's given us so many good points over the last three years. But the main one is that he is Elohim and he offers an invisible reign to us. The door is invisible and many can't find it. Religion and the world, politics, the groups, the natrium, all the, all the groups and religions and the world are all the same. They all declare different things, but they're all the same spirit. So don't be deceived. It's all the same spirit. And that spirit can't understand this book. Now, you're subscribing and, and paying money and who knows what else to these preachers, teachers, pastors, rabbis, but they don't know this book because this book points to a person. So you can memorize it back to front and upside down, but until you know the person, and uh, I want to know him more. I want to know the magnificence of Yahushua more and more. So that's where, where I'm at. I'm very disappointed. Uh, I'm glad if, if you were able to be encouraged or got something out of those videos, but the last four videos I'm quite disappointed with because when I look back at them, I think, yeah, uh, it's too much of me in that. Too, too much ego, too much Mark, and Mark's got to die. Yahushua wants to come through Mark. Yahushua wants to come through you. So assess your behavior, assess your speech. Are you speaking only what you hear Yahushua tell you to say? Or are you uh, flowering it all up, adding yourself, adding your ego, adding stories, trying to center everybody in on you and your stories? I've got a story for that. You're not even listening to what they're saying. You're too busy preparing your story to associate. Um, Yahushua wants only him. That, that's the whole concept of being possessed. He wants to possess us. He wants to possess me and I have not allowed him, never wanted him to possess me, but I want him. I want to feel him all the time, but I don't want to do it his way. See, see how ridiculous it is. You've got to throw yourself on the altar. The sacrifice, our flesh, our body, our behavior daily sacrifices become living sacrifices from this temple has to be burnt up by the fire and his fire can't really come too close if we remain sinful. So stay encouraged, brothers and sisters. I hope you can see that Yahushua wants to use you. He's drawing you to his invisible reign. There's a door. There's a narrow gate. It's invisible. You can't see it. Everything in this book points to it, though. Everything in this book points to something invisible and spiritual. So if you're only just reading it to say, oh, there's the chair, there's the table, there's the lamp stick, stand there's the lamp stand there's the tabernacle there's the if you're only looking at it in the natural you're missing the whole point 
this is parabolic language, this whole book, and you need his spirit to die, dissect it and decipher what it means to you daily. So get into it, get into him. But you've got to go through the narrow gate, the door. And who is that? It's Yahusha Alahim. That's the declaration. That's what we should be sticking as close to as possible. The bullet points and declarations that Yahusha has given us. So if you're not even interested in this, you've missed the true language. You've missed the true door. You've missed what Yahusha is declaring. Come into the declaration. The declaration of your deliverer, Yahusha Alahim, and his freedom and liberty.